other than level of tension observed while carrying out solar exercises, uh, what other indications should one pay attention to uh, for progress monitoring? In other words, how do you know you're getting better at systemic? If, uh, <coughs> if you could do a 20 second down, 20 second up, press up, hating life and shaking like this, and now you can do it easily, uh, are you making progress? Unquestionably. Uh, the real uh, measure of progress is, uh, are, you, are you happier? Uh, are you more pleasant to be around for others? Uh, is it easier uh, for you to talk to your siblings, for example, or to your relatives? Uh, are you smiling more? Are you finding remarkable enjoyment in the simplest things? Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, and if Cor and I were having a video chat and uh, we were just shooting the shit and talking about nothing in particular. And, uh, but nothing in particular in this case was cherries. And he had a bowl of them. And they were so good. They were bright red. And they were so sweet. I'm talking about them and I'm salivating now. And then he showed me one of them. He goes, you see how good this is, that he ate it. And the, the look of joy on his face because he, he was so grateful to God for giving him this cherry. And it tasted so good for him. All this from one fucking piece of fruit, right? Uh, when you start finding wonderful, enjoyable things in, uh, in life everywhere, then you're doing some uh, As opposed to walking around. Is there a threat? Is there a threat? Everything is a threat, but nothing is, uh, as, the, uh, as the prayer goes, thy will be done, right? Uh, when you trust uh, the universe, or in our case, God, enough to, uh, to look after you, uh, and you know that everything you encounter is the right thing, and you're kind of ready for it, uh, but you're not opposing it, you're accepting it all. Uh, in Sistema, we don't meet strike and strike, force on force, right? We, uh, we meet it uh, and we move it along. Uh, same, uh, so because we're not opposing anything, we're kind of generally happy, right? Uh, because there isn't anything we need to fight against. Uh, and we can enjoy the cherries because they go directly in and give us the enjoyment. Uh, cherries is one thing, but when he was eating lard, Oh, that's something else. Goes, Look how good this piece is. Anyway, impact of strikes, seven deadly sins. Um, to go to the question, which is tricky, uh, which was uh, asked. Let me just see if that person was on the call. Uh huh. That person is on the call. What? Uh, what should you, what the question from that person was, what question is it that I think you should be asking me or my teacher? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's very individual for all of you. Uh, the questions I was asking, uh, what is Sistema to you? Uh, I used to ask ridiculous questions. Like the more, the more ridiculous the question, uh, the less of the likelihood of a useful answer. Uh, and the more technical the question, uh, the more boring it becomes for the person you're asking the question. For example, if you go to Ripko and ask him, tell me the origin of Sistema, he'll go, <sighs> and he'll tell you a story about the cake. Just, this is a cake. I think it's tasty. You want it? Have a bit of this cake. But don't ask me about the fucking recipe and all the other shit. Uh, or does the cake, uh, the cake that is manufactured across the road, is that better? Is that also real cake or not? Here is my cake. You want it? Eat it. You don't want it? Don't eat it. What do you care about history of Sistema? Everybody's going to lie to you anyway. Have the cake. Or not. Uh, right? Uh, true story, by the way, I didn't just make it up. <laughs> this is the discussion I heard him have with people uh, who were asking him silly questions. Uh, or uh, somebody would ask him, how do I hit harder? And, 
and you can see how his inner world collapse for a minute. <laughs> Have I just wasted my time? But for uh, for us, uh, for me in particular, it's remarkably useful to get questions from you. Uh, other than the obvious reasons that if you pay the price for the Zoom session, uh, like asking a question, uh, you are already in a different zone. Uh, you're already doing something. You're, you're developing. The, the modern world expects you to do nothing but glance for two or three seconds at something amusing and then move on, uh, if you see what I mean. Here, I'm telling you, you can stop reading this shit now. Now you have to do something. And it's a very easy thing. You, anyone can ping a question, right? How are you doing is a question, right? So that. Uh, but this forces you to do something and put you in the world of Sistema and the, in the world of self-awareness. And for the next couple of days, you'll be in the world of Sistema in everything that you do. And that's wonderful. So the price that you paid for this lesson, uh, you will get the benefit from it for a few days. Uh, the next point from my perspective is uh, to kind of see how well you understand Sistema uh, and, uh, and where you are in your path. Uh, and there isn't a bad place to be on the path because the path is kind of almost endless, right? Uh, for some, uh, the path doesn't go like this. It goes, how do I hit it harder? Combat applications, this is all I want to know. And that's cool too. And for some people, it's, oh, the healing, oh, wonderful. Uh, for some, uh, so I kind of see uh, how, what is your interest? What's your depth of understanding? What are you after? Uh, let me deal with the final question. Uh, and then uh, I'll let you guys go. Uh, the question was, uh, are different people taught different things? Uh, the answer is uh, yes, but. Um, in the class, everybody does the same drills, but different people see different things in them. Uh, the beginners in the class see the press up as a conditioning tool or as a punishment tool uh, that an instructor inflicts on them. The more senior people will uh, do press ups on their own because uh, uh, it helps them to achieve unity with God or, uh, or healing skills. But even that is not the point. Uh, if Sistema is a complete system designed for the tribe to survive, uh, there are aspects of Sistema that deal with fighting, negotiations, medicine, uh, growing food, building shelter, diplomacy skills. Uh, all of those things are part is a skill set that your tribe needs to survive. Whatever the list is, uh, it's big. Naturally, some people will be better at killing and some will be better at healing. Some will be better at growing crops. Some will be better at building buildings. And there will be specialization in some aspects, but if you are doing Sistema, you're expected to be able to do quite a few things for yourself. Uh, are men taught different from women is another question that I received. Uh, and the answer is, no, men are not taught different from women, but everybody is taught different. Not just men, women, but uh, like look, Pierce and myself, right? Uh, we have very different body structure. We have different uh, interests, uh, different background, different set of fears that, uh, that we see the world through the prism of. Uh, our work must be different to be efficient, right? I cannot copy him. He cannot copy me. So he will be doing different system from me, just like Ali or Fahad would be doing a different system from me. So everybody is trained different and everyone is encouraged to find their own movement, as opposed to in a Krav Maga class where you go claw to the eye, throat, rip off the balls, tear off the head, shit down their neck, you're done, right? Uh, this is the set of techniques. Uh, everybody memorize that. There'll be a test tomorrow. System is not like that. Uh, there are some people uh, who studied Sistema for a couple of years with cerebral palsy. And for them, the big thing is uh, from, I don't know, crawling on the floor for five minutes, they're now able to walk and they couldn't walk before, right? They're shit fighters, but they can fucking walk. What a huge thing. For them, it's a different world. 
right? So everybody is taught the same exercises, but the goals are different. So that's where we are. Uh, the guy with the cerebral palsy in, uh, in Sistema was a relatively young punk. And once he learned how to walk, uh, he started getting uh, a bit cocky uh, and a bit nasty and stopped going to Sistema. And, uh, and things stopped working well for him because he turned into an asshole because he achieved him. So it's important to remember the seven deadly sins uh, who all grow from the foundation of pride. And uh, it's good that you achieve things uh, and that you grow. Uh, and it's nice when your parents are proud of you, but it's not so good when you proud, right? Look at Mike Tyson, what happened to him uh, when he got proud. He got stupid, he went to prison, he got all inked up in all the wrong places. So please guard uh, against developing uh, negative emotions like pride.